Welcome back to Let's Play Mario Odyssey from John's Game Couch. I am John, and this is my couch. This is Mario. Um, today on the Game Couch, I'm joined with uh, Jacob, a fellow Mario lover. Hey, how you doing? A lover of Mario. Oh, yeah. So to speak. Kind of. Uh, we were talking <laughs> earlier, you have played Mario in some way, shape, or form, correct? Oh, yeah. Because um, I think you told me beforehand that you used to have a Switch. Yeah, I used to have a Switch. And it is now in yep. the possession of your brother? Yes. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. How far into the game did you actually get? Oh, no, I beat it. You beat yeah, it? Oh, okay. yeah, I beat it. This was easily one of my favorite Mario games, for sh by, by far. Did you 100% it? I did not 100% it. Okay. No. Because I, I think I told you I definitely did not either. Yeah. There are... Um, I, don't have the, I don't have much time. Well, I had the time. I just didn't have the patience for the particular moons that I needed to get. Because uh, the moons that I did not get were... Um, it was in the... Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the kingdom. Well, Mushroom Kingdom, I know you get a lot of, like, uh, um, moons those, there. But those are, like, different. Those yeah, are, like, uh, doing stuff. Because the, the ones in the Mushroom Kingdom were specifically the, um, like, going back to fight all the bosses again, but on the harder versions of of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, yep. Um, I got a few of those, but there were two specific moons that killed me, and it was in one of the Frozen Kingdoms, but I, I don't remember the exact name of the kingdom. And you can tell I'm just heading to this this spot. That this is the next quote-unquote story spot. Okay. But it, it the, uh, the uh, moons I didn't get were the racing, where you were... Oh, the, the snow kingdom. Ball. The snow kingdom, I think, is what it is, right? Was it called a snow kingdom? I, I think that's I, what they I don't remember it. the exact name of it. But those, 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 those two moons, because you you uh, had to finish the uh, race with an S rank, and that required you to beat it in you know like a ridiculously short amount of time. Oh, and yeah, I just that's could right. Not do it. I tried literally, literally, a hundred times. And I just couldn't do it. It was not in my abilities. Yeah, I don't think I've ever 100% completed like a Mario game as far as getting all the moons or shines or whatever it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. I will say I don't think that I've ever 100%ed a Mario game either. I have I have come close. There was um, the Mario, the the uh, New Super Mario Brothers for the Wii. Um, there there were only a couple of a couple of uh, star coins that I did not get because that game um, the collectible in the I, I'm doing this the wrong direction I need to uh, I need to do it that way there we go oh. uh, the collectible in that game was like star coins and there were three coins per level and then after you collected the three per level um, there was oh, I need I, I need more oh I missed uh, after you collected the three star coins per level, um, you uh, had to go into like the uh, super duper star world, which was world nine. Okay. And then there were three star coins in each of those worlds. Oh, yeah, yeah. Each right. of those levels. That. Yeah. And I got all three of the star coins in those levels, except for like one or two. Okay. Because again, the platforming was like, you had to be perfect. <laughs> and I yeah. I was not yeah. perfect enough for it. But Mario has always been one of my ultimate favorite series. I grew up on Mario 64. Yeah, oh yeah, um, Mario games are always fun. One of the very, very first games I remember playing was New Super Mario, and you can hear the rumble on the controller just because as this thing is as this thing is moving around, the rumble is just going all nuts. So, <laughs> uh, One of the first games I remember playing was Mario for uh, the NES. Oh, okay. But I, I didn't play it a lot. I wasn't good at games at that point in time in my life. So yeah. I, first Mario game for me was definitely 64, because we had gotten the Nintendo 64, yeah. obviously. And I think and, it came And, and you're it. several years younger than I am, so what age w were you when you got the N64? Well, see, so the 64 came out in 96, right? That sounds right. Okay, so I was... I don't know off the top of my head, but that sounds right. I was born in 97, so... Okay. It was technically my brother's. Okay, so the 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 N sixty four was already out whenever you. Yeah. So whenever I had you were played it, obviously years later. Yeah. The I mean, my first Mario experience, honestly though, would probably be Super Mario Sunshine GameCube. Uh oh. I just uh, 
Nintendo GameCube, in my opinion, is my favorite game console of all time. I, I can felt, understand that. It is. That's just what I grew up with. So yeah. it's just kind of natural for me to say that. I guess it had good games, and it did. Luigi's Mansion was easily one of my favorite launch day games because I remember we got it launch day. Mm. So yeah, I haven't played through any of those, but I'm looking forward to playing uh, the new one. Oh, you never played any of them? Mm -mm. Really? Not even the one that was on the 3DS. Why is that? I don't know. I just never got around to it. Uh, but I'm definitely looking forward to playing the new one. Uh, I think it comes out this year. Yeah, you it's know? coming out for uh, Nintendo Switch, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, because I know they released, uh, I think it's called Dark Moon on the 3DS. And I played that. That was on the 3DS. That one's really fun. Oh, I really liked that. And then I think they re-released Luigi's Mansion on the 3DS as well. The first one, yes, they yeah. did. Yeah. Now, there's like a special way to get up there. Have you ever... I've been up on top of this thing. Oh, uh, man. Let's see. It's been a while. I don't remember. Is there like a secret path that you can go up on there? I don't remember. Because I remember in the Sand Kingdom, you can use like that uh, the guy who has like a visor and see like a secret path. The guy that has a visor? There's like a machine thing, Magic, that you Well, can... not, not a guy, but like they're like stones and he has glasses on. And you can kind of see like secret uh, paths. Yes, but not here. Oh, okay. Because... Basically, that, that big thing behind us, there was uh, coins way up on top of that thing, and there's a way to triple jump up onto it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I've done it been a handful while. of times, but you have to have precise jumping. I do remember I, I really like this particular boss battle because it reminds me of something from Zelda. You know uh, what I'm saying? This yeah. is very much a Zelda kind of boss Honestly, battle. Honestly, you know what it actually reminds me of more of? Um, Star Fox reminds me of like Andros. Very true. So Mario games, what's what's your favorite Mario game? I'll be honest, Odyssey. Odyssey, okay. Odyssey is my favorite Mario game. Oh, I, yeah, I don't after that me. is That's probably um, after that is probably 64. 64. Okay. Yeah. Well, like I was. Go ahead. I was just gonna say I really love Sunshine. Um, the only thing I don't like about Sunshine is the fact that Mario doesn't have a long jump. Oh. And yeah. I know that that's you know something that. Well, like I said earlier, you know, uh, GameCube is kind of what I grew up on. So Super Mario Sunshine is definitely my favorite game like, yeah. of all time. Like, all time. I don't know. It's just something about the music, just the whole setting. It was just, they don't really do Mario game like that anymore. Yeah. I mean, Odyssey was great, but I just liked that one a lot. Yeah. I mean, I will say that was probably the worst camera <laughs> of any Mario game for sure. And I will say that that was in the age before the 3D camera. Yeah. Because I remember watching an interview I don't know if it was Miyamoto or somebody else but they just straight up said that they were worried about doing a 3d camera for th this game and what basically told them that it was okay to, to do, do a 3d camera is Minecraft oh they okay. said that they would watch kids play videos of Minecraft and the fact that it if kids can play Minecraft and understand the concept of controlling a 3D camera yeah. in space, then they can do it in Mario. Gotcha. And so this yeah. is the first Mario where the right stick controls the camera. Oh, yeah, that's true, huh? I never and actually that, thought um, about that. Yeah. And so it's, you know, because even, you know, uh, the, the previous 3D Mario game before this one was on the Wii. And the Wii didn't have a right know, analog. A, yeah. Right analog stick. Yeah, it was the nunchuck. That's right. And so, um, whenever this one came out, they 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 were seriously planning on not including that right analog stick. Oh, that's interesting. But oh, it's a good thing they did. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but it it was solely because kids can play Minecraft. Wow. And they're like, if kids can figure out Minecraft, kids can figure it out with with Mario. Wow. And obviously, for somebody like 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 me in my mid thirties, I'm like, I want to play Mario too. You don't have to make it for a four year old. Because four-year-olds play Minecraft anyway. Yeah, that yeah, it's very true. You know. But this is such a fun game. Yeah, but I think for me personally, my favorite part of uh, Sunshine was remember those like secret levels where you do puzzles and it had the acapella. Acapella. Yeah, the acapella was like do do. Oh, okay. So the those particular levels are generally referred to as the floodless ones, where they take away your yeah water backpack. Yeah, you're just basically a regular Mario again. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Those, those are fun. 
Those were very hard. Annoying, and but fun. One of the reasons why the, they, they were so hard is because Mario just didn't have the ability to do that quote-unquote long jump. You couldn't You couldn't do that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I never thought about that. Yeah, and but that takes so away a lot of Mario's platforming abilities. You know? I think I'm just going to move on to the next world. We can always come back and polish up moons at a later time. Cool. Yeah, I always liked the Sand Kingdom, though. I remember the first time I saw this, uh, like whenever they announced it for E3 and they showed this, I was like, oh man, this game's going to be good. Mm -hmm. I remember I was uh, super excited whenever it was announced, which kind of leads to um, leads to a conversation that could be had at, at just the simple fact that the Nintendo Switch hasn't had a lot of games of late. Yeah. And a lot of people wonder if they front-loaded... Just simply because they were worried because the Wii U was such a... It was a was, failure in their n eyes. Yeah, not necessarily a flop, but you know, not what Nintendo generally does. Yeah, because I, I don't... like the wooded I don't Kingdom. remember how many they sold, but they undersold the Wii U by a lot. Yeah. I remember that. I'm going to go to the Wooded Kingdom. Okay, cool. Oh, like the Wooded Kingdom is cool. I always loved the music in oh, this Oh, the music in this. Yeah. Yes. And I, I really love, love the fact that whenever you go 8-bit flat... They have like the eight bit version of that song. Remixes of the songs yeah. playing. Yeah, yeah, that and, was yeah. And the eight bit mm -hmm. Wooden Kingdom song is probably my favorite in the game. I don't remember how that one sounded. I just remember the regular Wooded Kingdom. Okay. Well we uh once we get there, hopefully you'll be able to hear it. Skip. He's just gonna get Did you know that you can triple jump? Yes, Cappy. I know that I can triple jump. I've yeah, only been playing Mario. Cappy's awesome, though. My entire life. Cappy is great. I can't believe, like, such a simple thing as saying, hey, let's turn Mario's cap into a character. It, actually into worked. a thing, yeah. I was like, wow. And it worked, worked well, out too. worked really good. Yeah. I've not been keeping track of how long we're recording. So this, this might be um, a uh, Super Mario Odyssey Let's Play the Movie. <laughs> nice. Who knows? I have no idea how long we've been going. I did not... Start a clock. Yeah, yeah, me neither. <laughs> so I'll tell you what, how about we get to uh, the top of wherever it is that we're supposed to be going, and then we'll continue on from next time. All right, cool. Yeah, sounds good. But, you know, we can always get some moons first. <laughs> moons. <clears throat> so uh, right now we're playing Mario. What games are you currently playing? Currently, right now, um, I am... On other systems, because obviously... You know, I don't... Yeah. As you said, you don't necessarily have a Switch anymore. So what are you currently playing on, on other stuff? Uh, right now, I am currently playing Kingdom Hearts 3. And oh, I am so loving jealous. it. Loving it. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I grew up on Kingdom Hearts. So 14 years later, I'm, <laughs> I'm really psyched for 3. <laughs> I I feel so bad because th that is a series that I've I've never gotten into. And now it's like I am almost scared that it's too late to get into it. Um, but I really want to. Well, it's like uh, I was telling you earlier, you know, you can buy, it's called The Story So Far, which mm -hmm. is pretty much like an all-in-one package of literally every game, except obviously for three, but it yeah. kind of gets you back up to speed. Well, there, there, there is a package on the PS4. I don't remember what it's exactly called, but, but it includes all of the HD remixes that have come out so far. And then it includes three as well. Okay. Yeah. Now, the thing that I understand about some of those remixes, do I need to talk to him to get him to move out of the way? Is, is this the reason why I'm not seeing the way out? Um, is that... Uh, so, about Kingdom Hearts, I guess I need to concentrate on his riddle. What does the monster want from this kingdom? He wants... I believe he wants flowers. That sounds right. You are correct. Yeah. Get out of my way. Thank you. I will nicely say, get out of my way. <laughs> um, but uh, about the HD remixes, um, is that they like completely like remade some of the games that were handheld, not oh, yeah. even in 3D. Yep. Because like for instance, the um, w one of the games that I I don't know if it was on an episode of the Digital Itch, but uh, the the only Kingdom Hearts game that I've actually played is Chain of Memories. Yeah. And that was on the GBA. And it's, you know, it's, it's not very good. Yeah, no, it's uh, definitely my least favorite it, of all It them. has been, like, completely remade in 3D. And apparently it's still not the best game of the series, but it's 
it's quote unquote playable now because they remade it in 3D. Yeah. Yep. Have you played through that one? Oh yeah, I played through all of them. I even bought the you know remasters on PS4 and played them like that too. Okay, so it was definitely much more enjoyable that way. Okay, so you played through it the HD way. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I played it on the Game Boy Advance as well. Okay, so you played both. Wow. Oh okay. yeah. 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 No, I was such a huge fan. I wanted to play it again for mm. sure. <laughs> Which one's your favorite one? I think you told me it was. One. Uh, yeah, probably the first one. I mean, it's just you know it's the original. It just kind of more nostalgic for me, I guess. But okay. 2 was that. really good as well. Okay. I really like 2. And so far, 3, I gotta say, has been great. It's definitely been worth the wait. Yeah. Um, one of the things that I want to play about it is just the fact that I love Mario. Or not Mario. I love Disney. I'll, sorry, Mario. I love you too, but you're not Disney. Um, <laughs> he probably will be someday. Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Disney owns everything. Disney's gonna buy Nintendo in a year, um, I'll tell you right now. But I love Disney, and okay. uh, just the plain and simple fact that um, um, the the games now look like the the movies because of the technology. Oh that yeah, they're is very available. similar, very similar. Because I had just uh, played a little bit this morning actually, and I just finished the Tangled World. Yeah, and it's weird because like a lot of the scenes that they have for the game are like the exact same scenes in the movie. So I felt like I was like watching the movie, but then in the corner you see Donald and Goofy and Sora. So yeah. it was like really weird but cool at the same time. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to play it. Yeah, because in uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 they had actually added Pixar. If, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the director for Kingdom Hearts 3 said that if Pixar didn't allow them to put Pixar games or yeah. Pixar movies into the game, that he wasn't even going to make this game, mm. which is interesting. But... Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to you know getting more into the story. I'm yeah. definitely looking forward to Monsters Inc. because that was my favorite movie growing up. So obviously, the fact that the story is a a convoluted mess is a thing. People understand that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't think that we necessarily have the time nor the ability to explain it. But in your layman's terms, what's the story? Uh, so pretty much you have. The main bad guy, which is Xehanort. Okay. He is, obviously, he's kind of like an older character at a certain point in the game. And he takes over a younger person, I guess you could say. And he's a Keyblade Master. And he essentially puts himself into his body. And he splits himself into two. So what you call that now is a Heartless, who is, I believe... Uh, it's obviously, let me see, I'm trying to remember, because there's the Heartless and there's a Nobody. The Heartless, I believe, the, is... From the little bit that I understand, the the Heartless is when the heart gets pulled out yeah. of the body, and, and the then, Nobody is the body that's left over. Yeah, so pretty and much, And yeah. if a person has strong enough will, their Nobody turns into a person yeah versus pretty much just a like, mindless monster they stay as like they almost look like a real person but yeah. they have no heart it's very and interesting is it the fact that they don't have any emotions um not necessarily it's just that they don't have a quote-unquote real heart so they're not a real person oh, okay so they're kind of just like an empty vessel because like that's where uh the What's the name of the group? The 13. Oh, Organization 13. Yeah, and that's yeah. where they come in. The fact that they're all a bunch of nobodies and they want to have their they want to have their hearts back. Yeah, pretty much so. The main bad guy, right? Xehanort, he uses his nobody, which is Xemnas, I believe. That's, yeah. I think that's the nobody. Yeah. Because the other one is... Um, Ansem. Ansem, yeah, Ansem. He's the one you fight in the first game and you realize that he's... And the only reason why I know any of this is just because I have been binging... Yeah, story vids well, on YouTube. Well, the story is so complex. It's like sometimes I like think I'm like, okay, yeah, I think that's how it is. That's just how <laughs> complex the story is. Yeah. So in the first game, you obviously fight Ansem, who is the heartless that you figure out, which you find out later, later that that the name Ansem isn't even his. No. So there's it, actually a person called it, Ansem but the Wise. To Ansem the the the, the Wise, and he yeah. was apparently like his master at some point in time. Yeah. Yeah. Whew. That dude's got problems. Yeah, so then in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, that's when you fight 
Xehanort's nobody who is Xemnas. Mm -hmm. And then you realize, okay, he's not even the main bad guy either. So then they realize it's Xehanort eventually. Mm -hmm. And he's kind of the one behind all of it. So yeah, it's just a really complex story. It's like 1 and 2 came out first. Well, I think Chain of Memories came out between. And then they came out with Birth by Sleep next after 2. Which, was which is kinda, a prequel. Which is like the prequel. It takes place like 10 years earlier or yeah, something. Yeah, and that's kind of, yeah. And so that's a prequel to one, kind of showing how, you know, why Sora, Keyblade, uh, Wielder, and stuff like that. And then after that, you have Dream Drop Distance that came out on the 3DS. And that one's a sequel to two. And that one kind of shows how uh, Sora and Riku and Kairi, how they all are Keyblade wielders now. And then they go through like their Mark of Mastery exam. To become masters. Yeah. And uh, Riku passed. And Kyrie. Sora fails. Yeah. Sora fails because he becomes consumed completely by darkness. Yeah. And so then by the end of all that, he loses most of his strength. And so that's exactly where. Um, I was watching a video and and the term is he gets Metroided. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. So then uh, it ends pretty much with uh, Yensid, who's kind of like. The he, is, he is Disney. Yeah, 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 I spell that backwards. <laughs> he's like Yoda, you know, he's like the, the old person who knows yeah. about everything. <laughs> and so he tells you to go and get your strength back, and that's pretty much where Kingdom Hearts 3 Okay, so that's the start up. of Kingdom Hearts 3? Yeah. I, I, I think I told you earlier that that is the next game that I'm planning on buying. Oh, yeah, play it I for am. sure, because even if, like, the story is too complex, even just going to all the Disney worlds and kind of just, like, Messing around with all the gameplay and the RPG, it's mm. even just that itself is a really fun game. Yeah, yeah, I look forward to giving it a giving it a whirl. And the music is amazing. I have heard that, like specifically, Traverse Town. Mm -hmm. Apparently, that that theme is legit. Oh, I love like all the themes. They're all good. Like even whenever you go to Toy Story World, it does the "You Got a Friend in Me." song yeah. and it does that tune the whole time you're there and i'm just like man that's like it's almost like nostalgic for me <laughs> hits you in the feels yeah you're like man it makes you realize toy story 4 is coming up pretty soon oh you're totally right i forgot that that was a thing yep i, oh, I forgot that's gonna be good i'm just kind of curious to what they're gonna do you know because after three you know i didn't think they were gonna make another one well i mean they are in a spot where they are with a new kid and so the story can continue yes yeah, true with the girl i don't remember her name but but they are in a new kid's room you know they're not in in a box in andy's closet or something yeah it's true i don't know i guess for me it's just that you know it as andy's toys because like if 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 the toys belong to me they would be uh their adventures w w would be really boring because um they would just be sitting on my desk at work you know yeah, that's true. It's like, John never plays with us anymore. Because <laughs> my desk is covered in toys, but they, you know, they, they don't get touched. I'm sure it's a lot of Star Wars toys. Come on, I can't get on top of this thing. Thank you. Is there something out here? There's nothing here. Oh, there's something here. Nope. Oh, nope. Oh, um, actually, it's mostly... Um, the toys on my desk are mostly Ninja Turtle toys. Oh, really? Yeah, I've got... Um, so I collect, like, some Mega Block dudes. Okay. Um, so I have one of one of each of the four uh, from the classic cartoon line. Okay. The cartoon from... I want to say it was from the late 80s. That sounds about right. Um, and then they have another line uh, with... Uh, oh, they, they took away my... They took away my thingamajig. Uh, they have another line with, um, looks like there's a bad guy here. So I'll tell you what, how about next time from John's Game Couch, we're going to figure out whoever's up on this ship, and we'll kick his butt. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, we'll see you.